Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, I will show you how we can integrate a UI means a user interface with the backend chatbot. Okay, for this, uh, if you look at this file, I downloaded something from Google means some uh, uh, GitHub and this widget is going to be awesome. Actually, I will show you uh, before we configure it. Let me first run this index.html by just double click on it. If you look at this, it's uh, it looks good, right? Of course, this back uh, this background I will remove. I will show you how to remove that. And this chatbot is you know nothing but it's just icon, but it is not communicating with the backend. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, it you have nice buttons as well. You just click and close. It will close it. So it is working on JavaScript based. Okay, but uh, that is secondary. Okay, but uh, primarily we have to do some simple simple modifications, guys. If you look at this uh, Rasa chatbot directory, what we created, and in there you should find out endpoints.yaml. Okay, you just open that file by clicking on it. Okay, if you closely observe, there is line number 13 and 14 action endpoint and the URL it is expecting, right? You just have to remove those hashes just like that, and uh, now it is enabled. Now control S means we are going to run rasa on localhost means our machine local machine on port 5055 and it is going to connect to the front end using this webhook okay that's it okay that's all about it and uh, let me go back to this here if you if you if you confused you know you, there are docs actually you can refer to this in in the docs you can find this instructions that you know uh, file and uh, if you go here everything was written well written here okay and now our thing is like how do we run this chatbot right so you have to use this for running the models and if you do any changes in your actions python this this file you should make sure to run that fast before you run this rasa run iphone m models okay because first you have to enable this one and then you have to enable this one simple guys you just have to run that command and before that let me go back here and uh, if you go back to this you know thing there is a static directory just click on it and if you click on this js directory you will be able to see constants.js file you just open that file okay if you open that file it is actually using rasa server url parameter or variable using this variable it is connecting to this webhooks here if you observe webhooks then rest and then webhook this rest is coming from this credentials.yaml here you already enabled by default this rest channel okay it means that we can connect the front end with the back end bot model using this rest webhook okay that's all about this guys let me save that close that no need to do anything you just copy this command now okay and you also close that file here we enabled it close this file as well go to your terminal okay make sure that you are in a virtual environment and it is activated right click on there and you just hit that enter button let's see how it is going to work it should show like you know rasa server is running on see rasa server on http 0000 these are nothing but a local host don't worry and it is loading the model this is the model that is available under models directory this is the one see 0755130713 if there is any latest model then it always refers to that latest one guys don't worry let us wait and see once it says yes it's running up and it's up and running then we'll go back to our front end you know do exercise there let's wait and see whether it is running or not okay now it says like root rasa server is up and running let's go back to this file you just select that and you know refresh just like that now it is saying hey there you just click on that now let's say hi let us see how it is going to respond Hey, how are you? It is saying, yeah, I'm good. 
okay it should cheer us right see great carrion i'm let's say i'm unhappy okay you should uh, give that pug you know pug image to us right this is what my expectation let's say i'm unhappy here is something to cheer you up see this is the pug that we are expecting. did that help you it is asking we back like dialogue i'm saying na na i'm saying na let's see how it is going to react bye <laughs> this is because the bot is not trained it is a initial bot where you know uh, it gets you know some specific data which is being trained and in the next lecture we are going to train our bot with uh, some you know chit chat module uh, using which you know um, i will enable you how you can train your own bot and how you can use this uh, you know setup for different different use cases and all uh, we will discuss okay that's all about this lecture guys thank you so much see you